What's happening guys? Welcome back to Saiyan Mod. We're doing Champion's Path Part 2. Let's jump in tonight. Another 16 cards. So, the first uh, 16 in uh, Part 1, if you haven't watched it yet, we got some pretty good hits. Again, with the uh, we had a we have got a bunch of reverse uh, code cards, which is totally off the wall. Never had that before, but uh, so far everything seems to be pretty legit for the most part. There is a lot of uh, thievery going on out there with the Pokemon cards uh, with the TCG, and that was it. Okay, um, <laughs> you just can't be too safe nowadays it's so difficult to trust somebody um if you're purchasing online uh it's a little more trustworthy with amazon but you're liable to pay amazon price whereas ebay you know everything is uh decently priced just like the black market for like you know facebook marketplace but man the trust level is so hard to come by right now it's it's unreal all right what do we got nice a Gardevoir V okay there's that V magic that full art magic that that I'm looking for but you know like I said there's so many people that are getting hurt out there it's super sad because the Pokemon TCG has just become such a sensation it's unreal how big of a deal it's become and people are just trying to make money and and scamming people it, it's crazy how much scamming is going on nice dreadnought v max and a kabu finally getting some some bangers here awesome yeah just bottom line be careful out there know know who you're buying from you know get some get some credibility going on you know look at some look at reviews look at you know and maybe if you guys are part of like a uh, community uh, like a Facebook page or something like that just you know pay attention to what's going on you know do the community a solid and you know let people know good information you know just Oh, be a good person. I mean, we're all in here trying to have some fun. You know, we're not trying to get ripped off here. We're, we're just, everybody's in it to have a good time. You don't got to ruin it. I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure I speak for a lot of people. I mean, I get it. These things are expensive. Champion's Path. Um, Hidden Fates. Evolutions, goodness gracious, Evolutions has gone up so high in price. It's crazy. Uh, I remember in, gosh, it was just uh, now two months ago, um, I bought an Evolutions uh, booster box on Amazon for $158. And the following month, uh, September, it just skyrocketed. It's just crazy. $500 for a booster box. I wholeheartedly believe that Evolutions is the next um, big ticket booster box want for in 15, 20 years. It's going to be just like the, the first edition booster box. Uh, the base set one first edition out there it's uh i think that box is going to be worth so much in 15 20 years i don't know what do you guys think what do you think is going to be the one that's going to rake in a hundred thousand two hundred thousand plus um in 15 20 years what what booster what series is it going to be on my money is on is on evolutions it's a reprint of uh the base set it brings back that awesome nostalgia. The Charizard's in there. It's uh, it was a it's a great series, and I think every month we're going to see such a spike in the price. I mean, geez, you can't find a booster pack 
for less than $10, $12. Nice. Will Lord V. Like I said, the booster box. You know, you're either brave, you know, it, like for me, I, I got all my packs out of those those uh, Dragonite and Salamance tins. Um, you know, the new Surfetch um, boost, uh, the Surfetch um, box, I guess you could say, has uh, Darkness Ablaze. That's another one, by the way. Darkness Ablaze and, and uh, Evolutions and... That's how I got mine, but if I, I tell you what, boom, nice, Incineroar V. If, uh, if I get a booster box, that baby's going in a, in a box, like one of those protective boxes, potion, I see you, and it's going in the safe, and it ain't coming out for, you know, I'll bring it out in 15 years, you know, I'll take a glance of what the marketplace looks like in 15 years, base it on that, but I think the money's at it. 20 years just like it's going on now with uh with base set one just you know 20 years later 20 years later nice looking good all right i think that's exactly what it's going to be like for evolutions and then there's and then you know how it is you know there's um base set one then there's the uh unlimited and then we go on to fossil and then we go on to the uh Rockets, gym heroes. You know, that's how it's going to be with uh, a lot of these other ones. You're still going to make money. Darkness of Blaze booster boxes are probably going to be a lot. Hidden Fates cards, the the cool boxes that they all came in, those are all going to be worth a lot of money one day. The, the Champions Path ETBs, I think those are going to be worth a lot of money one day. So if you guys got a lot of those, at least. Hang on to at least one of each. I'm telling you, hang on to at least one of each. Make it fun for the future, just like we're having a good time now with everybody searching for those vintage packs. These are going to be the vintage packs, the vintage cards in 20 years. Hang on to these guys, take care of them. Take care of the the boxes that you get. Dreadnought, VMAX, nice, Malamar. All right, because <laughs> it's just, they're gonna be worth those of you who kick yourself right now because of the recent inflation, you can save yourself. You got kids, that that child or ch children are going to need a car. <laughs> They're going to need to go to college. You know, God forbid they, they flunk out of school and all that jazz. You know, hopefully you got smart kids and they're going to, you know, get a full ride. But think about it. If you, those of you who have older children now and uh, are just going off to college and whatnot or those of you who have a child who need a car if you had that first edition uh base set booster box one of those right now that you had when you were a kid you'd have a lot of stuff paid for right now and i know 15 20 years is quite uh, a time jump into the future there but I'll be, you know, in my in my 60s, a um, little bit younger. No, I'll be in my 50s. I'll be in my 50s. Oh, nice! Oh, creamy VMAX. I wasn't even paying attention. That's awesome. Very nice. Full cart. We're, this this uh, episode, we're getting some bangers, guys. We're getting some real bangers. Very nice. Um, but I do. I kick myself, too, because I had, I had it all as well. I did when I was a kid. I can go back and tell myself, hey man, don't open those. <laughs> I know it's Christmas morning. I know this is your birthday. I know, you know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm freaking telling you, man. I'm flipping telling you. I don't know if I would listen. I don't know. Would you listen if you were a kid? Would you have listened to your future self? Hey, psst, don't open those. <laughs> I don't know. All right, last pack magic, guys, for this episode. Let's do it. Let's do this. Go out and invest, guys. Seriously. Do your future self a favor. Invest. If you've got the money to get one of the first edition booster boxes right now, I know they're $60,000 to $200,000 to $300,000, but I tell you what, imagine how much it's going to be worth in 15, 20 years. 
way more than it's worth now. Nice. Last pack's magic. Last pack magic didn't really give us a whole lot. Um, but but this episode hosted a lot. So I was pretty stoked about that. I hope you guys were too. Um, look for the next episode. We got two more episodes to go. Like and subscribe if you want to see the rest. You guys keep being awesome. Have a good night.